can't believe I'm right here. I'm ready to lay paint down on the roadkill crop duster. I'm gonna put a light coat over the whole car. I call that the tech coat. That's gonna give me some material to build on on the actual finished coats. It's a single stage urethane, which means there is not gonna be a clear coat. I wanted to go with that kind of paint because the factory didn't use clear back in those days. So I wanna be kind of more reminiscent of the original type of paint. So wish me luck, this is it. Once I mix that paint together with the catalyst, it just has a life of six hours. So that is the commitment point. I'm mixing paint. Man, I stayed here till pretty late last night. I put three coats of acrylic urethane in the original Code W1 Alpine White, and it came out just beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Now, 99% of paint work is prep, and the car, if I eyeball it, it is as straight as a die. I've got the body lines looking really good, and the paint went down really, really smooth. What I have to do next is just give the thing a little bit of a cut and polish, which would be the final step in an absolutely stunning show quality paint job. We got the transmission out of this thing earlier, basically just by the gravity method, <laughs> but we're gonna have to put it in with a little bit more finesse, which means sliding the cross member back, which means removing the stock exhaust system hanger that's in our way. Popped right out immediately. Wow. All right. Push under. There we go. Can you wriggle it and push it forward? Okay. That's basically home. It just needs okay. to get. Here's a bolt if you want to get one in for safety. Great. Okay. Did that just go in that, that nicely? Yep. Stop there. Here's one of the toughest things to do when it comes to painting a car. Like you get the thing painted, it's really, really nice, but if you want perfection, you're gonna have to color sand it and buff it. Now color sanding actually means you're physically gonna sand your brand new paint job and it has to be done correctly so you don't ruin it. In the old days, you would use these kinds of tools and you would do that by hand, usually wet sanding with 600 or 800 or 1000 grit and it progressively over the years it got finer and finer. These days, you actually use your DA sander and that's the same kind of sander you use for a lot of body work and stuff like that. What you do is you replace your regular DA backing pad with this special hook and loop setup and then you can use this super expensive hook and loop which is basically velcro sandpaper now i've got a thousand grit and 1500 a thousand is probably a little coarser than a lot of guys like these days but it'll really level a lot better than a finer grit sandpaper i've just got the bottom of this fender left to do so i'm going to attack it right now once you're done with the color sanding, now you've got the arduous job of trying to get it as shiny as it was when you started. Now, to do that, you use a buffer. You want a pro quality buffer. It's rotary. It's about 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. You also need the right polishing bonnets to go on it. In my opinion, the wool is the way to go. And I have three different grades of wool pad. This is a compounding pad. It's for coarse cutting. This is a polishing pad. And then I've got the final glazing high polish pad. And each time the pad is a softer material. And correspondingly, there's a different sauce to go with each one of these pads. I've got rubbing compound, which takes out the sanding scratches, but it's gonna leave streaks in the paint. So you take the polish and that'll remove the streaks and give you a nice smooth shine. And then you have the machine glaze. Now what that's gonna do is just give it that perfect shine. Now I'm gonna grab my buffer, go to the first step and start with the rubbing compound. Normally I'd go all the way around the car with the compound and then switch to the polish, but I just want to demonstrate on the top of this quarter panel all three steps. So what I'm going to do is wipe down the coarse cutting compound and then I'm going to switch pads and go for the polish. Okay, I finished the polish and I wiped the car down and I changed the bonnet on my buffer. I've got my machine glaze and I'm going to hit it with the final step. Okay. 
Okay, that part of the panel came out really good, so there's nothing left to do but all the rest of the car three times, and then paint is done. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I call paint, brother.